wait for it guys this is my favorite boat to film and i love green guys that is my favorite color and boom now you understand why it's my favorite color guys alfred montaner here in germany filming vanquish guys which is made in the netherlands so you guys know i've always gone in fort lauderdale miami i give fanya and tom a hard time mostly fanya she was always running from the camera but today we're here they're not here they're actually in the shipyard so i'm actually gonna get to see what they have here in their backyard guys it's about a two hour drive from where i'm actually staying in amsterdam but the team here at vanquish is gonna go ahead and walk wait for it welcome 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 we'll see you again. So, so the first thing you asked me i told you i was in amsterdam you said are you getting in trouble and i said no <laughs> no trouble in Amsterdam. i was but surprised enjoyed, right? i love the netherlands okay. next time i want to come with my wife great um look at you like why <laughs> I all right say in introduce yourself my name is Tijmen, Tijmen Bolle. i'm working for vanquish yachts i'm doing seals here Okay, so, you know, I've done a lot of videos with Tom and Fania yeah. and all that stuff at, at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Yeah. Um, and I said, where's Vanquish? I'm going to go ahead and see it. And I was like, uh, in my mind, I said, I might have enough time to go to the shipyard. And you said it's an hour north of Amsterdam? Hour north of Amsterdam by car, yes. So, so, okay, so what do we have? We have a, v, a VQ 45 here? Yeah, here at the show, we have the Vanquish uh, 45 uh, open version. Um, so it's it's a unique color combination. It's a bendy alpine green. We're gonna make them wait for it. Hey, the video starts right now. The T. That's my city right there. I recognize that boat. That's Miami. That, that's Miami. That's, that's my Miami. city, guys. You see how you see how fast I recognize. The hey, hey listen. Fifty five with the five times six hundred. Outboard. I, I wanted to do a sea trial on that one guys That's but we're here we're here guys we're here we're here in Germany we are we got enough Miami let's, let's go check out let's what we got going on here in Germany guys all right guys the vanquish 45 all right so walk it talk it let me know what you think what you like what yeah. difference is is this a, a boat that's for sale? Is it not for sale? What's going it's on? It's not for sale. It's it's actually it's sold already. Yeah, it's sold. So um, like a like a lot of vanquishes. Sorry. Like a of lot course, of vanquishes. Of course, a lot of, like a lot of vanquishes. Of course, of course. No, so this is the vanquish 45 um, open version. Um, it's it's aluminium boat. Uh, it's all hand welded, uh, so we are able to customize as well. Um, yeah, and, and of course it's a very solid boat. Huh? So uh, we don't have a lot of electrical parts on board because yeah, at the end most of it will break. So everything is very solid, it's fixed, or you can move it manually. So that's very important. So a lot of people are gonna ask me, where are the welds? If it's aluminum, why isn't there no welds? No welds. No, I mean, it's, it's made that well and they work so exactly. good exactly. that you don't see the welds, guys. No, no, no. no. Uh, these are the details. Look at this. I'm looking, guys. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm looking for a weld there, but there's... They did a great job. They do, they do a good yeah. job. That's yeah. why I wanted to go to the shipyard. Exactly. We, there we might be take time. A look later. I don't we know. Take a look later. We'll, we'll call Tom, guys. Let's go ahead and check out this 45 Vanquish here in Germany. Hey, I wanted to ask you. So how do you say this city name? How do you say it? How do you pronounce Dusseldorf. it? Dusseldorf. 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 All right, I'm going to have to remember that because I've been butchering the name. Dusseldorf. Uh, Dusseldorf or Dusseldorf? Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. Okay. Dusseldorf. All right, guys, that's where we're at. We got in the 45 and uh, I've been struggling with pronouncing this. Uh, I mean, the, the drive over here was tough for me. I didn't even yeah. know what, yeah, not because I didn't know where Germany was. I, I, I read, I, I read, I read the sign and I was like, wait. I don't understand. This is you not in English. You pull up the signs and you end up here. Well, listen, thank goodness for Google Maps. Okay. All right, so we got this beautiful boat here, right here. To explain what we got going on here. So here we have, the, we have a great sitting area, quite spacious, with the sunbed here on the aft. Um, we are able to, to put on the, the sun awning yeah, with the 
with the carbon poles. So we have a lot of sunshade here. We have also the soft top that we can put on. It's called the Bimini, of course. Yes, I, I, I see. This is like a style that I have not seen over there. Normally they have like a T-top or some exactly. type of coverage. Yeah. This is open. I kind of like this. Yeah, in Europe, a lot of people like to have the open version yeah, because in the pre-season and after the high season, it can be a little bit chilly. So that yeah. it's nice when you have the sun on your head. So you so want you that. Warm up yeah. a bit. We can the high season, you put on the soft top so it creates shadow. Well, we, we don't have that problem. We always have a hot season. All right. So That's why I, always I, I know, I know, I know. Exactly. I'm not trying to exaggerate or, or but it's a, yeah. it is a big difference. It's cold outside. Where now? Yeah, here. here. Yeah, here. It's cold. Yeah, here, yeah. It's, sure, that's why sure. we're indoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week we had snow here, so. Uh, I would. I'm, different world. I'm not. I'm not doubting you. <laughs> All right. Tell me a little bit about this cockpit. So as you can see, it's a very sleek dashboard. Nice helm, um, guys. Look here at we this. Have tank with software. So all the buttons that you normally have at the dashboards are integrated in the Fanker software. So you can control the whole boat here via the screen. You can control the lights, the pumps, the hydraulics, actually everything. Yeah. Uh, that, that's awesome. And, and look, when I started this video, this is one of my favorite colors. Uh, Me too. I, I love green and it's a great color I just, I just, I really like this. Yeah. Okay, so we have like a, like a, what what kind kind of teak is this? It's not uh It's artificial teak. It's it's, yeah. it's like a yeah. plastic yeah. or. It's very easy for ma maintenance. Eh? It very is easy to clean, just soap and a brush, and, and the dirt comes out. Yeah. I really like this this layout. This this actual layout will look good in it's Miami. It's very pra practical boat. I like eh? this. So here behind you, you have the storage for the fenders here underneath. So it's really easy access to grab them and to put them on. Wasn't there one that had a tender on the side of the boat and everything that you guys had one yeah, year? Yeah, that's true, that's true. But that's the bigger version. That's the Fanquist 58. Or I Fanquist love that boat. So well. how big do they go? On we built uh, actually from 40 feet up to 115 feet. So do you guys have a lot of buyers in Europe for Vanquish? Because um, I know my, I've already seen a bunch of them in South Florida. Yeah, exactly. Uh, our biggest market at the moment is, is the US. Yeah, Florida and, let's go. And, and New York. Keep on US, let's so, go. Uh, we are very happy with that. So you're um, happy to see a guy from Florida here. Exactly, I was very happy to see you again. <laughs> very happy. Now, and we are also focusing uh, uh, on the European market. And we are, yeah, we are growing here very fast. So uh, Let's go to the bow before we go inside real quick. Sure. Because we, we, we just saw the helm. Yeah, this is typical Vanquish. Eh? We have the, the great walk around here. It's very, very, very safe to walk up front. Even nice high gunnels as well too. Sailing on a high speed, it's, it's good freeboard on this. Yeah. There, there's for the kids if there's kids running around. Here you have a great, great place to have a drink. Even on a high speed, it's still comfortable to have a drink here. Yeah, because our negative bow, I call it the negative bow, and we have three spray wheels. It spray wheels. It mm -hmm. really cuts through the waves and it's pushing the water away. That makes it a really dry boat. So yeah, you can see there used to be on I've got a speed. link of video. I'm going to link a video to this video. Yeah. I was filming one day in South Point Pier and yeah. there was somebody on a Vanquish, a blue one. Yeah. That's and awesome. they were going fast. Yeah. And that was the first time I saw this brand and I was like, what is that boat? Yeah, that's typical Vanquish. It's important for us that we that the boats are going fast and that the boats need to be solid, yeah. solid built, and we do customization. So yeah. those three points are very, very uh, important for us. I see that you have some like, like carbon fiber here and then all of a sudden you got some speakers in here. Exactly. You have the a bow locker there. Yeah, here underneath we have the anchor locker. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we have the submarine anchor. We developed that by ourselves, the system. So um, when you're on anchor, it looks like the boat's floating. So you don't have the ugly anchor arm that comes out. Yeah. So that's, yeah, it's unique. All right, so you definitely have a lot of space here. And obviously this is very European right here. Everybody likes to lounge. Some, some, some seasons are a little shorter in certain areas in Europe than it is in Miami. Like yeah. Miami, every day is a season. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's hot every day. Yeah, yeah. And there's bikinis every day. There's bikinis now. All right. No bikinis here. No bikinis. No. no bikinis. Uh, go, go, to, go to the red light district. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> get over here, guys. Before I get in trouble over here with this video, you're going to get me in trouble. All right. So obviously, you know, performance is, is great, right? But, yes. but sometimes, sometimes that's not enough, right? Because let's be real here. A lot of times the wives are the ones that say, 
yay or nay. It's a lot easier when the wife is on board on the boat that you want, guys. Exactly. Uh, that's just a, a, a little tip. I can tell you this boat is very comfortable. The most, most of the ladies, they, they really like this boat because uh, it's a very dry boat. The water is not coming up. And uh, you have a lot of wind protection because of the big windshield here be, you're standing behind. Um, so the hair is and the hair is the hair is not going everywhere. You but still I, can have the ponytail and, and it's I think, good. I think this is what they're gonna like the most though. Wait for it guys. This right here, you gotta start them off in here. Gentlemen, start them off in here and then and then tell them to go outside and look at the boat. This is fantastic. It's a real, it's a real day boat, but you still have a lot of comfort here inside. It's very, very, very easy to sleep here with your, with your, with your partner for the weekend. Um, yeah, it's so spacious here. You have a spacious bathroom as well. I tried to lean back a little bit there, so guys, so you can get a feel of how spacious this is. And it's it's roomy, right? So you got some room here and all this can be a little bit different based on your on your taste. Exactly. It could be a darker wood, a lighter exactly. wood, whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah, and we can change all the colors. And what I, what I told you before, we are really focusing on the customization side. Uh, so we can extend, for example, the galley. We can extend the, the bathroom if you want to have a little bit more space. Look, um, look at the size we, of this head. With that. This is huge, guys. We, we got to call Tom. We got to call Tom. Tom, shipyard, I'm here in Amsterdam. Hey, for the record, I didn't go into any of those red windows. I just want to make that clear. I will tell that. <laughs> guys, Amsterdam was definitely crazy. Uh, never would I have expected. I didn't even know. I didn't even know how crazy it was over there until I was there. So okay. So how far? You said an hour and a half distance is where the shipyard is, where you the guys shipyard, are building these. It's 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 um, in Marknessen. It's a mm -hmm. small town near Amsterdam. It's mm -hmm. a city in the Netherlands. It's yeah, one one hour drive north uh, from Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh man, it might happen, guys. Who knows? I mean, I mean, I think Tom Tom is doing some other stuff, but I don't know. Maybe. You want to take a drive? We'll make it happen. I, I, we'll listen, make it happen. listen, I'm, I'm a persistent guy. I, I flew 13 hours to come to this show. 13 hours. Okay, okay. so where would they go? We, okay, what is, what's the top speed on this? The top speed with the twin uh, Volvo Penta IPS engines uh, 650, um, the top speed is 43 knots. 43? Yes. Okay. Um, and, and how much uh, fuel consumption at cruise? What are we looking at, like yeah, range like on a something? Re, uh, re, a range of, uh, of 250 nautical miles. Tw 250. 250. And how big is the, the, the fuel tank? Uh, we, the fuel tank is 800 liters. Uh, in Europe, we say liters. Yeah, yeah, we're in Europe, guys. You gotta, so you gotta, they're going to have to figure it out. If you calculate a bit, you can, with 25 knots, you can sail for 10 hours straight. All right. Yeah, guys, we're going to have to play by the European rules. We're here now, so... They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to Google that. That's what I have. have that's what Google I would do. Guys, you have to, yeah, <laughs> Wait a second. You have to Google yeah, it. we're gonna have to Google this. Okay, that's does, what does, I have to do always. Yeah, in the, in the yeah when you. <laughs> hey, the time's your turn. turn. Yeah, now it's my turn. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um, sea keeper on this big guy or no? Yeah, sea keeper included. Of course, eh? also with the generator. Um, full option, metallic paint, carbon details. And the engine is in here. Yes, underneath here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any access to that now, or can uh, you have storage in yeah, there? Yeah, but the cushions are on it. Yeah, so, okay. And then, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, we don't want to. Make um, it. We, I will show you another time at okay. the shipyard, maybe. Okay, at the shipyard, um, guys. Yeah, here underneath we have a big storage bin, and underneath the storage bin we have the engine room, spacious okay. engine room. Okay, so price point on something like this? Uh, I mean, I know it varies because it can range from a certain but let's just it's say hard a, to say price point a, because a starting it's point. custom made yeah um, but if you are really interested hit me up and, okay uh, what would the number be it's on request it's on request what do you mean it's on request it's on oh. request okay so how would they get in contact with vanquish if they wanted to get in uh, on vanquish of course go to the website which vanquish, is vanquishyachts.com okay um go to contacts and then you see all the names of the salespersons in the US and in Europe. Okay, are you going to be in the Fort Lauderdale show out. or no? Sorry. Are you going to go to the Fort Lauderdale show? I'm not there. My colleague Tom 
Okay. It's there for sure, and uh, he can help you out. All right, guys. Alfred Montaner here with Vanquish. You better not ask me questions about the red light district off camera. I'm telling you right now, you still you're still being recorded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't say right. nothing. I told you two times already. <laughs> he smiled, guys. Hey, Alfred Montaner making a scene. I'm I'm teasing him, guys. Hey, you gotta come over here to Europe, guys, and uh, yeah, wait for it. Alfred Montaner making a scene as always. You got me in trouble. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna get me in trouble. With the have you guys, I got in trouble because of this guy right here. <laughs> now, listen, I have an air tag on my backpack. Yes, he's watching you. Oh yeah, he's listen, listen, you. listen. I was on FaceTime Better. more than this weekend, more than I've ever been. <laughs> I love you, baby. But you are enjoying, right? No, listen. I, I wish she was here. I really did. I wish my I wife can't was imagine. because but she had she had gotten sick in Toronto, yeah, that's so she didn't want to go because she was bad. And I and, and so that and I was like, yes, no, no, no. But then no, you no. have a reason to come back to the Netherlands oh, again I, and visit the shipyard. Uh, I, I, listen, that's the first thing I said. I said, let's go because. I was on FaceTime, I was talking to her and I was showing her and she was like, oh, I wish I, I would have gone now. Because, you know, she's not going to come to the shows with me, no. but we go hang out afterwards. Yeah, so. Of course, of course. Guys, come to the Netherlands. Tom, I'm going to see you guys What's over the there at the, at the shipyard. Avramont and Megan, as always, Vanquish, guys. Look at this beautiful boat. I'm out of here. Boom.